Hello everyone, welcome to Carnivorous Plants Hub. Today I'm gonna to be bringing you an update on a couple of Saracenia that I got from California Carnivores about three months ago, a little under three months ago. I just wanna show you how much they've grown, I'll give you an update on them, let you know what I've been doing for care, give you some care tips, and uh, show you exactly how they look. Let's go ahead and uh, get going. All right, so the update today is going to be on my uh, Saracenia purpurea, Adrian Slack which is a really, really beautiful red and kind of greenish yellowish purpurea that's grown right here. And then we also have the Leah Wilkerson Minor Giant, which is another just beautiful, a very different looking Saracenia, uh, not a purpurea, so you can tell it's, it's got the taller skinny. Real quick though, before we get into the full update on these, I wanted to show you real quick how you can get your hands on one of these for yourself. I'm super pumped about teaming up with California carnivores. They're one of the most experienced and knowledgeable carnivorous plant nurseries in the entire world. They have a massive selection year round of all types of carnivorous plants. There will definitely be something in their nursery you fall in love with. On top of that, they've also been generous enough to offer my viewers an exclusive 10% discount on their order when they enter CP Hub at checkout. That's CP Hub. Head on over and pick out yourself a new carnivorous plant to add to your collection. You know you deserve it. Let's go ahead and get back to the video. All right, thanks for uh, listening to me mumble there for just a moment about that. I really, really appreciate it. But yeah, so the let's start with the uh, the Adrian Slack here. You can see this is a really, really beautiful plant. I think this one over here was probably the one where I uh, originally, this was the biggest one when it came. And then as I put it in my grow tent under my light, um, this is the new picture here. This one is a new picture. And then also this one over here is also a new picture. You can see they're a little bit lighter in color because they haven't been exposed to as much light. So they're, they're, it's looking really, really beautiful. Let me show you real quickly what this one looked like before it arrived on my doorstep. All right, now let's go ahead and take a look real quick at the uh, Leah Wilkerson Minor Giant here. You can see these ones have really, really tall, beautiful pictures. You can see this one back here is just a beautiful, beautiful picture. Look at that. They have the, the lids that go a little bit closer over the top. They don't, they don't quite go out as far, but it's a, a really, really beautiful picture. I really love how they just look so delicate at the bottom. It looks like it's gonna, gonna break off. So these ones can be a little bit trickier to have if you have windier conditions, because they're much more delicate type picture. So if you're growing these outside, it might be, you might want to do something to stabilize these a little bit when, if you have a windstorm coming, because they can, they can definitely get damaged in the wind pretty easily. When I received this plant, I can't remember which one of these pictures was the one that was the biggest one, but I know that this is the newest one here, this really, really tall one. But let's go ahead and take a look at this plant and see what it looked like when it arrived on my doorstep. All right, so let's go ahead and talk about what I've been doing to care for these. Uh, I actually have these under my grow light in my grow tent right now. I got the Core 1000 watt LED grow light and, and they've been under there. They've been getting anywhere from 12 to 15 hours. I've been slowly reducing the time that they're under the light in preparation for dormancy this year. I'm a little late on dormancy, but this, these ones I've been, I've been really hesitant to put in dormancy because I wanted to enjoy them a little bit before I had to put them in dormancy, but I have been gradually reducing my light so that when these guys go into dormancy, they won't be shocked. So they started off at about 15 hours of light and now they're down to about 12 hours of light. Also, the, the, the temperature in the room has reduced a little bit, uh, not by a lot, but uh, just because of winter coming, uh, it's, it's actually pretty cold here right now. We're down in the 30s. So the room just naturally has reduced in temperature. So temperatures and light is going down in preparation for dormancy. And I'll put these away here pretty soon, um, probably at the beginning of the December into full dormancy. And uh, I keep them in full water, distilled water all the time. The Saracena really like to have their feet wet, so pretty much all the time these are these are in water. So it's really, really important. They don't like to be dried out. Saracena are one of the carnivorous plants that you don't really have to worry too much about rot. They really, really like to have their feet wet most of the time. I haven't really had to do anything for the substrate. The substrate that they came in from California carnivores, as you can see, is, is really, really healthy. There's a little bit of a layer here that I might have to get rid of next spring when these guys come out of dormancy. I don't know if I'll change the substrate yet. It just kind of depends on how they grow in dormancy. If they continue to grow, I might have to put them in bigger pots. But as of right now, the, the substrate is still fine. I might just have to get rid of that top layer of moss uh, so that they can so that they don't interfere with the roots and they can breathe a little bit better. 
But uh, overall, the plants are they're, they're in really, really good shape. Uh, if you want to get your hands on one, head over to California Carnivores and use that code CPHUB so you can get 10% off. If you want to look around and see what they have, they have so many different options for Saracenia plants. Just keep in mind that when you order this time of year, they may not come with these big, beautiful pitchers because they're in dormancy. And usually for dormancy, you, you cut most of the pitchers off. So just be aware that they may not look like this when you order them this time of year. That's something that's important to remember. So before we go, check out the video in the upper right here. You can see how I uh, these plants look when I unbox them. You can see my full unboxing video and all the other plants that I got from California Carnivores. And uh, thanks so much for being here and supporting me. I really appreciate it, and I hope to catch you in my next video. Bye.